Hey everybody, welcome <laughs> to <laughs> Hey Man. Hey man, I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. I'm all snuggled up over here in the corner. Man, this outfit today is... This is a fire jacket. I don't know what you're talking about. I, yeah, dude, I love the jacket. Uh, for those of you who are listening and not watching, um, he's wearing an Adventure Time fleece jacket. It's got... It's got uh, I'll give you... Obviously, you. I don't even know if you know any of these characters' names other than... I don't think you know the two main characters' names. Adventure and Time. No, one of them is my name. One of them is Jake. Jacob. Uh, the dog, his name is Jake. The the human, his name is Finn. And then there's a couple other characters on here that are... We named a dog, Indiana. Do you want to take a guess at what this purple lump is? What her name is? Flarney. No, she's a princess. So Princess, princess Flarney. Is, no, that that was not at all. The princess is the last of her three. So it's like something, something princess. Oh, okay. Don't say Flarney, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say Flority Lardy Princess. I don't want to hear. It's not that. They are two actual words. Oh, okay. They are two actual words. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Purple belly button princess. That was three. But that belly button's one word. Is it? It's not a hyphen. Does that count as one word? Belly button is belly button one like a like a a compound word. Like is there's no space, no hyphen, no nothing in between it. I have my computer out right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't know if belly button is a straight. I'm just going to Google is belly button one word is belly button or just type in belly button and see if it separates it for one you. word. Uh, Ooh, is it belly button or belly button? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you write belly button? Type it out. Uh, I think it's two separate words. It's two separate words. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Nice try. So that's that was technically four. I love I love how, how do you spell belly button in America? Okay, how is that spelled anywhere else? Uh, belly button, bouton, belly button, bouton. I would have I would have said hyphen. I I I had a okay. feeling it was two separate words, but hyphen I wouldn't have. Then been I'm mad going at. to belly button princess. No, her name is Lumpy Space Princess. Yeah, that fits. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. she's a purple lump from space. Yeah. So Please like, stand up and just show everybody the rest of the fit. Okay, I will. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go slowly. And I'm gonna describe the fit as I go up. So I got. I'm gonna. I'm by, gonna the go, way, by the way, we're wearing the same exact color hat as well. I'm gonna. By the way, I'm gonna wait. go background music. Ready? I'm no. Gonna, wait. Wait. Background. As music. you're describing, make it dramatic. I'm gonna go. Bah, 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 yeah, but the most dramatic part isn't the. Bah, bah, yeah, I'll make it work. All right, fine. Um, okay. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me start. This fall. <laughs> bah, I wore it a Jacob beautiful. Wolf. Oh, what? Do, do it, do it, let me. You, what, you said, I, I, let me get, let me get, let me build it up. But you didn't tell me there was going to be a lead in. You I'm, just said, let I, me do the music. And, and then I'll give you that. Yeah, you didn't say there was going to be a monologue. It's not a monologue, it's an intro. You said build up of music. Okay, I'm going to get I just, you. I just need to know the proper instruction I, I, gonna, so I can get this right. I'm going to just, <laughs> I'm going to point you in. Okay. But it's going to be after the monologue. It's not a monologue. It's a model. It's fine. But it's after you're speaking. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Bum. Okay, so I'm wearing... Dude, <laughs> let me do the intro. Okay. <laughs> Bum. Bum. This fall. Bum. Bum. Jacob Wolf. But I... Bum, 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 bum. Wears eight things that don't match at the same time, yet somehow he makes them match. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, I, that is kind of true, actually. So I'm wearing a beautiful Earth hat, and I got the, I got the mint, right? To match with the, uh, the green Adventure Time hoodie with like five of the best characters on it. And then I am in light. Boom, 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 hey, can I bring this boom, up? I can't. Boom, I'm in light boom. blue. Not, I mean, light blue, like, uh, what are they, like, tether shorts? They're, like, you know, just regular, like, shorts. They're not cargo shorts. They're not, like, booty athletic shorts. shorts. They're not booty shorts at all. And then I'm wearing running booty tights shorts. with holes in the knees because it's, like, 60 degrees in my house. And somehow your tights are loose on your legs. Boom. Yeah, they're not pulled down. Like <laughs> I have to, you know, you know what's funny? These aren't three-quarter tights, so I have to wear them under my foot. So they stay stretched out and stay down. I don't know what any of that means. Means exactly what it means. It's like I take the bottom of the tight and it's I. It's a three quarter tight. Who, who's on your socks? Oh, and I got Cheech and Chong socks on. I forgot Yo, about dude, that. I thought that was Bobby Lee. 
Hold that sock he, up. He wishes. Hold that sock up again. I can't stand up, you lazy fuck. You tell me that doesn't kind of looks like Bobby Lee. Oh, it looks it looks like it looks like Cheech. Okay, Cheechy Lee. Um, oh, and then uh, some Travis Scott fan of one lows all black. This fit goes well together. I got the blue from the shorts with the blue on fin. I got green and I, like I'll this tell you matches also, the mint. I may be old, but those have been washed enough to where those are gray shorts. You stand up again. These are blue. Stand up, baby blue. They just, I've been sleeping. I slept in them last night. So I have like the lint. Gray. From the, I have the lint from the gray blanket I was wearing. Oh, yeah. Those look blue on film and gray in person. They're definitely blue both ways. They look more white on the screen than they do. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. This matches. Yeah, dude. Listen, man. I've said a million times you can get away with wearing things that I never could. This fit actually goes together, wear, to, to, together well. I'm not going to lie. It's cold as hell in yeah, my dude, house. It's a little chilly in Vegas. Like, well, not even that. Like, Iman runs really hot. Yeah. So when it's 65 in the house, she's like, it's hot. The AC's not on. It's hot. It's like 60 in my house Boo. right now. Yeah. I'm walking around in tights and a hoodie. I'm like, just open a window. She's like, not cold enough. Like, I was like, it will be if you leave the window open long enough. Outside, like, it's cold at night. It's cold. It was cold during the day when it was now, windy, and but by not the way, anymore. People from across the country, save your. Oh, you think it's cold there? It's yeah. cold. Oh, I understand that in different parts of the world, it's colder. It's colder than it is here. And I'll tell you something right now. I would think it's cold where you are too. Yeah. So I, I, you know, Doug Stanhope used to tell a joke about you can't compare socks. My sock is different than your sock, but they both suck. Right. You know. Yeah. Um. But doesn't dude. We've already been back now for a week. You've been back for a week. I've been back for a week. I've been back for two. Yep. And um, I went to LA and filmed something that I can't talk about, but I had so much fun doing. It looked fun. Um, and guys, thank you so much for um, the new viewers and listeners. The numbers are going up, up, up on this show. So thank you all so much. Just a reminder, if you like it, spread the word, download, rate, subscribe. It means a whole lot to us. Um, Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. By the time this is out, we will have already done Naples. Oh, yeah, because it comes out later this yep, week. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. But uh, the December is packed. Um, in December, we're going to places that always sell out. Well, actually, when this comes out, we'll be in Naples. Wednesday, Thursday. Not Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thursday night, if you're listening. Right, we'll right? be in Naples. Yeah, we'll yes. be in Naples. Um, but uh, December, um, Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. But just... In order, Kansas City, um, Missouri, uh, uh, Columbia, Missouri, St. Louis, Mohegan Sun, and Phoenix. Guys, we sell out uh, all those places. The, the advanced ticket sales are already amazing. They're adding shows in Mohegan Sun. If you're in those areas and you want to go, get on your tickets now, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. Um, and I said we would do... Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at your dates uh, on your website as well. Uh, Columbia date isn't on there right now. I just want you to know that so you can oh. throw it on there. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and every Monday night, we're in Vegas. Tonight. We're here in Vegas tonight. And um, Elton Caste is coming by tonight. Elton's here tonight? Yeah, he's going to come do a set. Great. Who's mm -hmm. going first? Um, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a more difficult set, and I want you to... Eat shit less than him? I, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want you to get used to work. That's the set I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, we thought we would do, get to your emails today. Yeah. Um, and so I haven't read them yet. Great. So This will just be on the fly. Yeah. Love it. That's, usually, thought, that's all better that's for us. That's how we do things anyways. Yeah, yeah. That's when more of our better stuff comes out too. For sure. I mean, look, we just did a great intro of your outfit. Yeah, I got to say, it was really anticlimactic, though, with the music. Like, I thought the music added a lot. No, no, I feel like the music added more and, like, the 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 fit wasn't as climactic enough. Do you know what I'm saying? Yo, dude, ending with Cheech and those Travis Scotts, you sold yourself short. Yeah, I guess so. I forgot about the Ch Cheech and Chong socks. Dude, wearing. you went from Adventure Time, which you were super hyped on. This is a this Target. This was, like, 40 bucks at Target. Super hyped fire. on. The shorts or whatever with the tights. But then you you had the fucking juice at the end, but you kind of breeze past it. Yeah, because honestly, I, I'm more focused on. I feel like the jacket's more of the centerpiece of the outfit. It definitely is. You notice it right away. Oh yeah. 
Um, oh, yeah. Anything else you want to get into before uh, we... Oh, it's not something you'll care about, but Drake and J. Cole just released a tour together, yeah, which dude. is I awesome. Fell, I fell asleep in the middle of that sentence. Yeah, yeah. but can I, can I ask one question, though? Yeah. Like, so Drake obviously just did a, a, a big States tour, but instead of doing a Europe tour, he dropped a new album and is now doing a second leg like tour in the States with J. Cole. No Las Vegas or Los Angeles date. Hmm. Poor K. Well, Los Angeles, I don't know, but I'm sure they're in... Nope, not in California. Not in California? Nowhere in California. The closest they are to us is Denver. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Just from like a tour, like from a tour aspect? Like that doesn't, yeah, I don't know. That's... Uh, that's no Arizona? A, no Arizona. They must be saving West Coast for something. Else. I don't know, though, because like in that first leg of the tour Drake just did, he just was in. Like he did LA, he did Vegas, he did that, right? Mm -hmm. So I just... I'm just, J. Cole's going to do L.A., dude. That's where he's from. No, that is not true. He's from North Carolina, and he's and they're not even going to Raleigh. Oh, it's Kendrick who's from L.A. Correct. Kendrick's from Compton. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, but so, like, there's no there's no North Carolina for, for uh, J. Cole on this. Drake's from Canada. No Canada on this trip. No L.A., no Vegas. There may be, if they're missing an entire West Coast, they may be waiting. Oh. <sighs> It doesn't make any sense, though. They're starting in January, going January to May. They just released the date. So oh, they just did January to May? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah But yeah. also, Drake just did a full, almost whole year on tour. But not with J. Cole. True. But it's, it's crazy also. Or not till May, sorry, till March. And the, Oh, dude, then they're adding dude, dates. Dude, you know what's crazy? The last four or five dates yeah. on that tour don't have J. Cole on them. Yeah, they're adding dates. Dude. They're adding they better dates. be. They're adding dates. Okay. Um, That's what I want for next Christmas or birthday or something. It's J. Cole and uh, Drake, Drake tickets. tickets. Okay. Woo. All right. That's it. That's all I got. All right. That let's only, get to your questions, everybody. That's the only big news of the day. You give me some uh, email question music. I feel like it would be elevator music. I feel like I need multiple instruments for this. Dude. Make the noise with your mouth. <laughs> I'm not that even. I'm not, can, I'm not even going to do it anymore. Just also for the fact that you stared me directly in my face, took off your glasses, and went. Make the sound with your mouth. Make the noise with your mouth. Both are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just move on. There's there is to be no music <laughs> for this. Not after my own father. Just asked me to make that sound with my mouth. Noise. Both of them are bad. No. What is funny? <laughs> Both are weird. <laughs> Can't you just carry on with the with the with the questions, dude? I I, may, I, <laughs> I use very specific words. Why are you fucking with my words? <laughs> why Why are the words even coming out of your mouth in the first place? <laughs> That's what I want to know. That's uh, the real question. Okay, Sherlock. <laughs> you gonna call me Dan Wolf with these? These are my. These are definitely my old man glasses. Dude, I feel like every pair of glasses you put on, you look like Dan Wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to <laughs> stop wearing glasses. This is from Dylan. Hey, Josh, want to say you're one of my favorite stand-up comedians. Thank you. I'm about coming to the Phoenix show in December. Thank Woo! you. I was wondering, do you sign autographs at the meet and greet? I would love for you guys to sign my titty stash box. Titty stash. Box. Question. I have. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. Now, what's a titty stash box? See, that's what I don't know, but this is my question, and I'm curious as to maybe the titty stash box. I don't know. Do you take Polaroids of all the girls you're with and post put those photos in a box, and it's a stash of titty photos? So then I would say, no, I'm not going to sign that. No, it would just be the box, not the titty photos, but like the box. Still not I'm just that. just giving you, you know, that's my only thought. A titty stash box. I'm trying to think if maybe, you know, you or send you an email and you're, you ever read something? You're like, ah, that's miss. That's not what they meant. They meant this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But titty stash box is really one hard. It's one that would be hard for autocorrect to go to titty because you're not autocorrecting to titty. Correct. And if he was spelling it T I T T Y, it doesn't autocorrect. There, but there's nothing even close to it. Right. Okay. So now here's my. This is the only thing I'm going to say to that. Uh, I maybe? guess. Yeah, maybe. I guess we're going to have to wait and see to what you, what it is. Yeah, Dylan, maybe. Maybe. His name's Dylan. I don't know if I trust it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I. We do sign autographs, though. And but, 
I've signed signed boxes. That sounds dirty. <laughs> I've signed boxes before, but I've, I don't We've, know what it's. You and I have signed a blow up sex doll before. Yep, at that Nashville show. I signed a fake leg. I signed a dude's titties. Yes, you did. Actually, it was the same dude who asked for the the signature. On, I also signed a dude's belly button at that show. Yes, you did. So did you. Yes, I did. I signed in his belly button. I did not. I did. Well, Dylan, I I would say yes. No, tentative yes. Yeah, maybe. Let's go maybe. Yeah, okay. It just all depends on what it is. But thanks for listening to the show and sending in an email. This is from... <laughs> what a great way to start. Einar. Huh? E-I-N-A-R. Einar. E-I. Einar? Einar? Einar. Anywho, I'm sorry we butchered your name. I think I get it right. Okay. Einar? I think it might be Enar. E E I Einar? Might not be our language. It's definitely not. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Name. So it could be, it could okay. be different. What, however you pronounce your name, I'm sorry if we butchered it, but thank you for your question. Here it is. Yeah. Hey, Jacob and Josh. First of all, first off, big fan of your work on stage and a super podcast. Thank you. As a dad to a 20 year old guy, I really appreciate the way you have fun talking and hanging out together. Not just funny parts. It's also very nice to hear Jacob's point of view. I'm a bit of, uh, late to the party on YouTube, but I have to say, ooh, high lives are my favorite. Yeah, that is. Okay. That's you're not the first. Looking forward to seeing your show when you come to Oslo. I hope we, uh, I hope you guys ran into each other. Yep. Okay. P.S. There are great possibilities for those left-handed cigarettes if needed. Well, no question there. And, uh, you got to that question a little late to the party. What question? No, no. You got to the email a little late to the party, obviously, because yes, that was yes. for the Oslo yep. and a left-handed cigarette is a wacky tobacco. Oh, I wonder if this is the guy. Who, who gave, gave me the four joints? It probably is. Can I tell you how serious they were about anti-weed? In so Norway? This, this dude gives me the four joints. I'm upstairs after the show. And uh, I'm talking to the person, the promoter, the, the person who's yeah, there yeah. for the promoter, and the person who runs the club. And I take the weed out. And the person who runs the club was like, I'm just going to, I'm going to pretend that I, I'm not seeing that. And I was like, what? She was like, that's making me nervous. If you... Like, you can't have that out here. Whoa. And she was like, it's just really against the law. Like, really, really against the law. Yeah. And so I'm, you know, obviously do what you need to do, but not we, here. How do we clean this up and yeah. get you the fuck out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. That is nuts. Yeah. I, I just, I, I, I think it's so, it's so interesting to me or like to see the difference between countries. Like for me, Anywhere in the States, I really don't care where I am. I don't feel scared or nervous or anywhere. Maybe it's just like a dumb confidence because I grew mm -hmm. up in LA and I just never, there, nobody ever batted an eye. It was never a pro like, not a problem, but like, you know, it was never like in a disrespectful way. I never smoked around kids. I never did any of that. Like, obviously I took precautions, but, and I wasn't smoking in front of cop cars, but there was, there's so much more liberty to it. Right. Mm -hmm. I was. <laughs> I like, I remember, where were we? Can I ask you a question? Well, uh, yeah. Okay, oh, go, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. What's the, I'm not, I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to ask this concisely. And, and as I'm saying it, it might come out better. Okay. What's the most uncomfortably high you've been in a place where you shouldn't have been high? The most, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Where the, the, where is like, Name a time I've been uncomfortably high in a place I didn't want to be. Yeah, in a place you were like, I probably shouldn't be high here. Like, you like I mean, a other than station. San Jose? When we were out on the street after we had just oh, done yeah, mushrooms? Yeah, 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 that doesn't okay, count. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've ever... Look, there's not a lot. Probably two handfuls were the times I've been uncomfortably high. All of those have been just like too much or just wasn't the right vibe for the night. Sometimes it's been mushrooms. Sometimes it's been weed. Most of the time with the weed, it's just like I've taken too much of an edible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if I've really been uncomfortably high in a spot I don't think I should have been. I was uncomfortably uh, high. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I don't think I was uncomfortably high, but I was definitely uncomfortable in the spot that I was That's in. perfect, yeah. Okay. When I was 22, and I worked at and I had, I obviously just left Jersey Mike's. I started working at Spade. I started making a little bit more money. 
I have a buddy of mine. His name is Mad Moody. Mad Moody is like a 6'5", ginormous dude from Watts, California. He's a rapper. I met him. He used to be a security guard at a dispensary. And when I worked at Jersey Mike's, we would do switcheroos, okay? And he would come bring us a bag of some goodies, and we would give him two free sandwiches, and he mm-hmm. would walk out the door. And he became a really good friend to all of us over the years who kept in touch. Um, and so Moody and I have always kind of stayed in touch, and I remember I was like, yo, I'm, I'm looking... I'm looking for some things. I'm looking for some some weed, but like good weed, kind of kind of like under the table. It's going to be cheaper than what we would buy it in stores. It's something in LA called Secret Sesh. And Secret Sesh is like invite only. Like they don't put the invites out so people can see them. It's only word of mouth. And when you go, it's in this tiny room. Dude, I drove down. I was in the Lexus mm-hmm. in downtown LA, a block from Skid Row at 1130 at night. It's, that's me, not the place to be. <laughs> me uh, and two buddies of mine whose names I will not give. Um, I don't know for what reason. I just don't think I talked to one of them anymore. But we're, we go up there. We walk into this building. At the front of this e- abandoned 12-story office building are two armed guards out front. Not sheriffs, armed security guards. Mm-hmm. Both with bulletproof vests, helmets, and both have an AR a secondary on the back and a pistol on the side. Oh, I'm like, shit. I'm like, yo, where the fuck am I? It's cash only. So like, I have like $400 of cash in my pocket. I have a little satchel with me. Like I'm expecting to go pick up a, a good amount of weed so I can pack it and leave. It's cash only really easy. And I, they're like, All right, go up eight flights of stairs. No, <laughs> no elevator. No elevator. Dude, the bed, the building was abandoned. Every floor I went up, there was locks and bars on the doors, except for one on the eighth floor. So when you get up to the eighth floor, you walk in, and it is just this, you walk in, lights are all off, there's a DJ going, and it's like a mini cannabis convention. And there's just booths of people in this room that's probably no bigger than my living room at my house yeah. right now. Yeah, And it is just like, just packs and packs of people. There's like people from legit dispensaries there. People who just have like, like, uh, like under the, or like back door shit. I walked up to this table. This dude had just like, you know, the brand cookies, right? Yeah. Just bags and bags of cookies. And I was like, how much for the ounce? And he was like hundred bucks. And I was like, is it real? And he was like, yeah. And there was a barcode and everything that you could scan for authenticity. All of it was real. A hundred dollar ounce. That would be 400 in stores. Yeah. So it was just tables and tables of this. And so, and then there's people giving out free dabs, people smoking blunts, like everybody knows each other. So there's food, there's a taco stand. Like, I was like, this is the fucking coolest place ever. And then we stayed for about an hour and a half. And then we all were like, all right, cool. I got my stuff, said bye to Moody, grabbed my boys, and we walked out. The minute we got onto that street, the armed guards were no longer outside, they were inside the door. So they went to open the door to let you out and then closed it back. And it was just you on the street. I felt a little safer with the armed guards out there when I yeah, walked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't feel safe anymore the fact that the armed guards went inside. Was it just you? No, it was me and my me and my buddies because mm-hmm. I drove us. Right. So I was like, you guys aren't getting home without me. So no splitting up. This is buddy system. I will be holding hands if I fucking have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not. And I parked, no joke, like two blocks down, oh, like two no. blocks away because I'm not trying to park out front of a building where I'm going in to pick up a bunch of drugs illegally. Yeah. In cash, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just a lot. Yeah, of- but you I bet you wish you had parked right in front. Yeah, of yeah. Because by the time we start walking, like you know, in downtown LA, bro, it's oh, like, dude, and you were high, super, super high. Like I wasn't uncomfortably high, but I was uncomfortable where I was. Yeah, being high, like to a point to where I'm in my pockets and I have, I'm starting to put my my keys in between my knuckles, and I'm just starting to be ready and prepared for like whatever yeah. the fuck may go down. I have everything in that backpack. And this little string bag. And I have that string bag in my hoodie pocket. So right now I'm just walking, hands in my pockets, on top of my stuff. Nothing in my pockets that no one could take or swipe. And my, I'm ready with my keys. And I look around at my friends and I'm like, we all good? And they're like, oh, I'm prepared. And I look in and one of my buddies has a, a, a switchblade in his pocket with he's ready. And the other dude already has his keys and his knuckles also. And no. I'm, like, I'm like, are we ready to throw down right fucking now? Like... But you know in downtown LA, man, the more corners you turn, the more people just show up out of the darkness. Yeah, dude. It's right? the walking like, dead. Like, down d- there. like dudes are walking by, people on bicycles. Yeah. Like I saw the same dude on the same bicycle three times. He circled us and came back on different blocks. By the time we got to my car, 
I, like for me, dude, the I, three bicycle, that's not a good sign. No, same dude on the bicycle who I'd seen three times. I yeah, was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, bro, we gotta, we gotta pick up the pace. They're like, they go, no, if we walk fast, people will get suspicious. I go, if we don't walk fast, there's a dude on a bike. He, we're not gonna be faster yeah, than that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll hit him in the car. And we'll deal with the repercussions later. I was like, but I am not. You're not hitting him with my car. I, would you rather me hit him with the car or me dead? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bingo. That's what I thought. I was like, we will deal with the repercussions later if but it like, even comes to that. Yeah. And also, by the way, I was like, I know my dad will be okay if I hit a dude on a bike who's trying to rob us or do something to us. Dude. If I hit him with a car, my dad's going to be like, yeah, okay, let's just go get it fixed. Did you kill him? No. All right, we're good. Like, did, that's did that's what it's going to be. We got in a, I got in a car accident in high school, and I ran into a tree. And uh, my dad was in California at the time. And my, <laughs> my brother called and said, Josh has been in a car accident. And the first question he asked was, which car was he driving? Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's he was hilarious. like, yeah, yeah, cool. But was he in my car? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But yeah, so that that's the only time I can think of. Like I that's was in an uncomfortable one, position, but I we ended up getting to the car. I did that thing because your car, I could keep the key in my pocket and unlock the door. Yeah. I did that and got in and realized the dudes weren't in the car. And I was like, oh shit, that only unlocks my door. And I start like spamming the unlock button. They get in the car and I'm, I'm how psyched were you guys to get skirted off out of gone. there? Well, I skirted off out of there with all with all the things I had purchased, with the extra money I still had, and with my fucking life. So like, and after that, I remember Moody texted me two weeks later. He's like, "Yo, another uh, another se secret session." I was like, "Cool." Where's it at? He goes, same spot. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Won't be there. I was like, I will catch you next time. Brother. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will not be going back to whatever that is unless those armed guards follow me to my car. Like I need, <laughs> I need a personal <laughs> escort back to my Lexus, please. Like a, like a privileged white boy. I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to need some extra help going over there. All right. <laughs> but yeah, good one. That's the only one for me. All right. It was a yeah. way longer story. Sorry. That's all right. It, we're, we're here for stories. Yeah. That's, don't, yeah. I, I haven't told, I don't think I've ever told you that. I one. like that one, dude. That would make <sighs> me super uncomfortable. Yeah. All right. This is uh, from a woman named Elizabeth. And Elizabeth wants to know okay, I have a son, 14 years old. Let me just get past the. Here's the question, man. The question is how do I get. My son, to be as close to his dad as you are to yours. I'll let you go first, and then I'll give my. I small would opinion. say this. Uh, obviously, like the big one is be there for your kid. If you have work and you have other prior obligations that you need to, you know, put forward as an adult before your child, that's fine. But I think the big one is to make sure you're always not forgetting about them is the correct term, but like. Make sure, make sure you don't go unnoticed to them, or they don't go unnoticed to you. If that makes sense. Which one? That's two different things. You don't go unnoticed to them. Like, like, like I'm saying, like if you have something as an adult, because I've learned that you have to put certain priorities forward. Like you have to put food on the table, right? So that's why you had to tour a lot. As what I'm saying is, you put your adult priorities forward. You wanted to chase a dream, but you also wanted to provide a living for your family, right? So I missed you a lot on big events. But when you were in town, you were there and you made up for it. And you were there as much as I needed you to be or wanted to be. And you never pushed that boundary over the line. Right. So what I'm saying is like, if you have work or you have other things that you're doing or chasing, that's fine. But make sure that your kid doesn't ever feel unnoticed. That's what I meant. Like, like you want to always make sure you're there for them. Um, but I also wouldn't can say. I, can I jump in? Sure. So what you're saying is. Nobody expects you to be there all of the time, but when you're there, be there. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, that makes sense. And also, I mean, I, I've said I say this every time. Obviously, you I know you want to be a friend to your kid because my dad and I are best friends. However, there needs to be a line between parent and friend. Like there has to be a very very distinct line between that. And if that if you ever cross too much over that line into the friend area. The, the relationship gets fuzzy because your kid will only see you, will see you more of as a friend than as a parent. And there needs to be a healthy mixture of both of those things in order to, I think, get to the point to where we have. I would also say, don't smother your kids. I understand you wanted to be there for them. If times are tough and they're sad, like a breakup or uh, they're not you know friends with somebody anymore or whatever 
kids are upset about nowadays. Let them be sad. Like, obviously tell them you're there for them. Let them know if they need anything, be there. But, you know, my, my dad let me be sad. Let them be sad for a couple of days. But of course, after that, you want to pick them back up. You want to show them. You want to be there and support them. So I would say don't smother them, but always be there when they need you. They may not always want you there, but be there when they need you. That's the most important part, I think. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. I would say this. Uh, I think it starts with respect. Mm -hmm. If they don't respect you, you're not going to have a good relationship. That's true. And respect is not fear. Yep. And so, like, you, you, if you are ruling by fear, you're not going to have a good relationship with your kid. You're just not. You, you just aren't. And if they respect you, um, they uh, will like you. Mm -hmm. um, and, and he's right, man. Like, he, you're never going to be there all the time. And, um, but when you're present, be present. And also when you, yeah, you know, we live in such a crazy world of technology now. Like we didn't, like when you were out of town all the time, I mean, FaceTime was a thing because it wasn't that long ago, but it was also just kind of up and coming. Like it wasn't mm -hmm. everything everybody had in their pockets. We all have smartphones now. If you're not physically there, you can still be there. And that is the effort is important to the kids. I promise you. Yeah, man. And I would say also like, don't try so hard. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't try so hard and don't solve every problem and disappoint them and don't disappoint them on purpose, <laughs> but like, it's okay for your kids to be disappointed and don't solve all their problems and don't, and don't fix everything for yeah. them. Um, they have to learn to, yeah, they, they have to learn from their mistakes, but obviously they're, comes a point in every kid's life where they may need help trying to figure out the last step or two of certain problems. And if they come and ask for advice about little tweaks or things to do, just like parent advice, help them. But obviously don't let them struggle, but definitely let them I feel learn. like we've strayed away from this the question a little bit, but I think we kind of covered it. I think we there. I think we did. Respect is the biggest one, I think. I think respect is huge, man. Mm -hmm. I think respect is so big. And you get respect by doing what you say you're going to do and by, by they're watching you. Mm -hmm. And so by leading a life that they can respect and being a person that they can respect mm -hmm. and you living your life in a respectful way is going to make them respect you. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think that goes a long way in, in being friends and don't be an asshole. I, I really feel like that golden rule we all learned in kindergarten applies to everything. In anybody's aspect of life, treat others the way you'd like to be treated. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, Drew asks a question. Thank you, Elizabeth. Drew asks a question uh, that people ask a lot. I don't know why. Which is? Our opinion on eating ass. It seems you all are can, very... Can, can I be honest? I think when you say send questions, you're going to get the people who think they're like, oh, this is going to be the funniest thing ever. Yeah. And that's what that is. Yeah. I mean... The opinion, my opinion on it is okay. Do whatever you want. Yeah, man. Like, uh, uh, I will look. I don't. I don't. I don't bag on anyone's sexual kinks, other than if you're a feet person. That's. I feel like it's that scene from Austin Powers. Listen, I don't understand the feet thing either, and uh, uh, my opinion on eating ass is, um, I think you just got to be careful what ass it is. Yeah, make sure it's clean. Yeah, dude. I mean, listen, people who are intolerant of other people's cultures. And the Dutch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, so, I mean, feel free to eat ass or not eat ass. Uh, that it, is it, the question. It is way more popular, I think, now than it was when I was growing up. Yeah, because we, we did not have an asshole eating conversation ever. Yeah. I mean... We don't have to also. You could... We like. Well, I mean, it wasn't something that people like growing up, we didn't talk about. Yeah, it just wasn't a conversation. Yeah, no. It still isn't a conversation. It is, apparently. No, not, I mean, for me. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you and I don't have to talk about no, it. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, oh, also, Unless real quick. you want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> real quick, though. Um, so, I woke up this morning. Good. It's a that, good start. Great start. I, I said that the other day, actually. Um, my broken toes feel weird. Like, swollen. 
swollen. Like they feel like they, it might just be they're cold, but like they feel swollen and they kind of hurt. I wonder why. I looked at them today and they looked all right, but like they feel a little weird. So I'll keep you updated. Should we take a look at them right now? You, we can, but I'm, they're cold. I don't want to take them out of the socks. The cheap yeah, socks. Yeah, 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 you're right. Keep them out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. And also, I'm not going to put my bare foot on Matt's table. That's, Why not? Because that seems not hygienic at all. Well, we'll just put a napkin down. A <laughs> tissue. <laughs> a puffs tissue? A puff. We'll put a couple puffs down. Nah. Let, let everyone take a look at the three. Uh, I already did that on a podcast, I'm pretty sure. You did? Steph's. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> just whipped, whipped them piggies out. Yeah. Have you named those three? One of them is Slender Man. One of them is The Brain. The Brain, I know that one. Yeah. yeah. The what? Brain, Slender Man is the middle one because he doesn't have a toenail. And the other one's Albert. Just, no, the other one just kind of looks like, looks like the Hunchback in Notre Dame because he's got the extra big oh, knuckle right, right near the nail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll probably... What's, what's his, uh, what's his ad character's name? The Hunchback in Notre Dame. And it's something fucking crazy. It's not... Aquarius. <laughs> cool. hold, on, hold, on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I want to look it up just hold so we know. On, look it up. Look yeah, it up. Gonna, uh, okay, look it up and then I, give me some guesses. I, like, hold it's on. Not it's not Aquarius, but it is you, something I think, I, think you, I think you were thinking Credence and it's no, not. No, I was thinking Amadeus, but that's definitely not That's it. Mozart. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, oh, wow, it's so close to Aquarius, dude. <laughs> no, it's it not. It is 100%. Don't tell me what it is. Humphloidian. <laughs> Not that. that. No, but it's. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's not even close. It's close in nope. my brain. It, yeah, I'm it's telling you, it's not. It's a step away from Aquarius. Multiple steps. Is it? Yes, yes. I yes. don't think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, but when, when I get to it, I'll tell you why it's not far from Aquarius. I'll tell you why it's very okay, far hold from Aquarius. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay. The Hunchback Notre Dame, his name is Fumfla. No, let me just get it. <laughs> Hum, okay, hold on. It is 250 right now. Hum. How long do you think we'll go until he even gets the first letter? <laughs> yeah, at least five. <laughs> Me too. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. yeah, yeah. It's like, Al dude, the first letter you're not even going to get. It's like Albert. Nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's Bac Bactavius. Bactavius. Honestly, that one's closer than Carnius. That's not even what you what said. I don't even know. Corinthius or something? Cranial. Cranius. No. What did I say? Bacterius? Bacterium. <laughs> Bacterium? What is happening? A, B, C, D, F. You're going. Those are the, H, oh, I, I, the J, alphabet. K. K. No. Nope. H, I, J, K, L, M. Mm. <laughs> You look like a kid who just got his first bite of ice cream. Like hold he on, went, mm. it's like it's like mm. nope. Hoopo. Nope, it doesn't start with an M. Sorry, I did that in the mic. Nevati doesn't start with an N either. Damn it! Give me the first letter. No, <laughs> give me the first letter. Q. Quasimodo. There you go. <laughs> Not even Fuck close yeah. to any of the it things. It is you... close to the first one. No, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence. It was closer to Clarence. Not no. Crustacean? No, because K, I had a K in the first, which is close to Quasimodo. <laughs> Carmius? You, you, you had a Qua. You had Qua. Not Qua. Quasimodo. Damn it. That's an easy one. Yeah. Okay. So the, my, my other, the hunchback one is named Quasimodo, though. Yeah. Not Clarence. <laughs> Clarence is pretty funny. <laughs> what uh, a great name for a dog, also. Or like for the person. Remember how we did like, like shut up, Brenda. Uh, shut up, Clarence. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> All right. I got another question for us. For Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart's a great one. Fuck you, Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> oh my God. That might be my favorite one so far. Eat That's my dick, Stuart. <laughs> Oh man, oh, there's, fucking there's something wrong with us. That that's yeah, so dude. Funny. I hope we meet someone named Stewart soon. Oh, uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask at the show tonight. Anybody in here named Stewart? Oh, and they so go, yeah. I'm gonna go. Fuck, fuck you, Stewart. <laughs> I'll stick my head off my own stage. Uh, this well, is, and you'll scream, "Fuck you, Stewart!" We're together. With oh, that. okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Woo. This is Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, 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 Amanda. This is a question for me first. At what age did you start getting high with Jacob in front of Jacob? Was there always an open dialogue about it? Well, I didn't start getting high in front of him until he was over 18. Correct. We have only been, smoked weed together one time. By accident. By accident. 
it just, we were standing next to me, we were next to each other, and he passed a joint because that's what you do as a human being. Well, yeah, you pass the and, next person. And I grabbed it because that's what you do as a human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we smoked, I smoked it, and I was like, oh, shit, that's our first joke, joint. And that was five months ago. In Jersey. Yep. Yep. So I, has there always been an open dialogue about it? Yes. I, After, yeah, yeah. I talk about it openly. So whenever any of my kids wanted to ask me about it, or they obviously could, um, I have a pretty open dialogue about anything. Anything, yeah. Um, because I think dialogue is how things are solved, no matter what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, yeah, I, I, but I, we don't, we don't uh, smoke weed together still, just because I don't. I don't need to get shit fit. We've been high in the same room a, a lot. lot. Yeah. A lot. But, but, uh, and we took mushrooms together a couple times. Yep. Um, but I'm not smoking weed or drinking. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, we've taken a shot together, but, but like, I'm not getting shit faced. No, you. no, no. Jacob, were you nervous to get high with your dad the first time? Well, again, it kind of just happened on accident because I don't know. We were in a group of people. I was smoking weed and I just, I passed it to the person that I knew in the circle, just kind of subconsciously. And uh, he just took the blunt, and then him and I kind of did that like movie movie moment where we both just kind of did a double take. Yeah, and looked at each other, and we were like, "Well, this is happening, so we'll just." The, well, I wasn't not going to take a hit. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I figured at that point what in time, a, you, know, you and I were like, "Yeah, that, it happened. It'll happen for right now, and then we won't do it again." I just kind of I feel like it was a mutual understanding. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um. So, no, I guess would be the answer to that question. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Well, were you, yeah. And even if we did smoke weed, I don't think he'd be nervous to be. She said first time. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, well actually, I don't, tell me if I'm not allowed to tell this, though, but what I asked for on my 18th birthday. I forget. I, on my 18th birthday, I asked for you to go buy us a joint, and you and I were going to walk around the park and smoke a joint and just talk. Do you remember that? No. You don't remember that? No. On the day of my 18th birthday, you I, that was what I asked for. I asked for the day before. I go, yeah, I want to, tomorrow, I want to smoke a joint with you and just walk around the park and talk. And you said, okay. And you cleared it with mom. Y'all thought it was okay. Yeah. You went, uh, bought a joint. Actually, I think you and I walked in together. Yeah. We went into Buds and Roses. Uh, shout out Buds and shout Roses. Shout out Buds. Uh, you bought some stuff. I bought some stuff. And then we went to VNSO. Down the street from our place with that giant track, right? With the four baseball fields. And we smoked a joint and walked around the park for like an hour. That was the first time we smoked a that joint That was together. the first time we smoked weed together. I, that memory just flooded back into my brain. Holy shit. That's what I asked for on my 18th birthday. I was like, obviously, like, you guys get me the presents you want. But, like, the gift that I want this year and the sentimental gift that I want is this. Well, why was that? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. I feel like, honestly, truthfully, it was like... I felt like it would be like you think mushrooms is. I, th I thought it was going to be a bonding experience because I smoke weed with all my best friends. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I, I guess I would love to see what level this relationship is at, I guess, yeah. in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how'd we do? Great. I mean, look, we're, we're here now. <laughs> <laughs> like for me, I think it just furthered the notion that like, yeah, we're friends. Like we're, you're my parent and that's the respect part. But like, we're also like, we're friends. We're buddies. We yeah. can talk about anything. And I think that one really kind of just pushed that narrative a little more forward for me. And I think, all, honestly, also, I just think I wanted to smoke weed with one of my parents. Yeah. I would you, be the one. Yeah. You're not smoking weed with your mom. No. No, she's not smoking weed. No. No. She did a CBD strain once, though. Yeah, I remember. I was there for that. Yeah. I found it. It actually worked great. And then the next time we tried it, it did not. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just not for everybody. Yeah, you know? totally fine. But I, you know, not a lot of kids say they smoke weed with their parents. And I was like, I also would like to have that under the books. I, 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 this is. I now remember that. Yeah. It's crazy that I didn't remember that. And it's dude. It was so long ago. You and I have smoked a lot of weed since then. So I, not together, just separate. But I've done a couple drugs since then too. So I, how would you feel about you know, going to get our brains checked out? We can. I'm down. My, I know my short-term memory is going to be shit. So yeah, I'm I want them to do. A, I'm prepared for that. I want them to do a, like, uh, take a couple pictures of your brain. I feel like it's going to be like the concussion test that I had to go do. Yeah, but this is going to be way more in depth. Yeah, and I didn't pass the concussion test. Well, after the concussion, at least. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, 
This is not, this is, I, I'm, I'm nervous too, but I think it'd be something that we should do. Mm-hmm. I think in that same day then. We'll go get our brain checked out and then go get our ears professionally cleaned. Yo, dude, that picture you sent me. Crazy, right? On the fucking cute. Uh, gross. The amount of wax on that Q-tip was like. Gross. And such a burnt orange Texas color. Oh, it's been hidden from the sun apparently for a long time. Yeah. It's been, it's been, it was in there, man. Cause I was with a Q-tip, with a Q-tip, I don't just stick in. Like I, I go, I go around. So like, I don't try to push it in, but I try to, I try to well, like take When you push it in, you're just jamming it in further into your head. That's why I don't try to go straight in. Like I, I try to stick along the sides like yeah. around, around the wall of the ear so I can just kind of pick up. And then I like, I like twist it as it's in there to see if it like picks anything. Right. But when I went to go do that, I turned my hand a little bit and I was like oh that's where I go I had been pushing into like my ear for some time and thought ah. I was just towards the end and I switched an angle and I was like oh oh did you hear better yeah I bet oh, I definitely did when oh, it came I out I was like I can hear the ocean yeah I do that <laughs> bet you can hear but better yeah, and that's what I immediately I was like there's only one person who's gonna like this photo and it's dad oh I zoomed in Oh, I know you did. Because the the text prior to that was just you sending me a picture of two fish that looked like this. Those heads were so <laughs> big. Those were the fucking yeah. biggest fish he, heads. He just sent me I've a picture of two fish heads while he was in Oslo. And I was like, I was in Stockholm. Uh, or Stockholm. And I remember texting you back going, You sent that to me because I was the only one who would find that funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, they were so big, those it, fish heads. His reply was, You are the only one who would understand how funny that is to me. Oh. And then my very next text was a picture of the Q tip with the earwax on it. By the way, t- t- just to cause a earwax on it doesn't really give it a good um, understanding of the quantity. It was, it was like weighable. You could have no, measured no, it. No, relax over there. It definitely, uh, there was some sticking you off the top. You could have put a dollar sure. value on the amount. It Like, I'm not going to lie. Some crackhead would have been like, is that weed? I'll dab that. If that like, was wax for weed, it could have got like four people high. It might have killed those four people. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you smoked your wax. I've seen it done before. And? It doesn't do anything. And all the person does is throw up after. Oh, throw up? Because it tastes... Terrible. Have you ever eaten earwax? Eaten earwax? No. It's pretty gross. Have, why have you eaten earwax? Don't worry about it. Let me take a guess. Not voluntary? Uh, or very voluntarily? Sorry? Did I do it under my own free will? Yes. Yes. But was there... Did you get bet? Was there money on it? Yeah. Okay. So that's... I guess it is voluntarily, but it has some extra push behind it. How much? How much what? How much money? Oh, 20 bucks. Uh, how much earwax? A substantial. More than 20 bucks worth? In I think any, in I hi- think any hi- earwax is more than 20 bucks worth. In hindsight, though? Way more than 20 bucks worth. Gross. But I was in college. Gross. 20 bucks was 10, 20 be- bucks. 10 beers. Or a meal. Who the fuck cares about a meal? It was 10 beers. Beers were two bucks then? Uh, I mean, a tap beer, I'd give her a dollar for sure. <sighs> what a time. Well, dude, it was like on Tuesday nights, you come down and get a dollar tap beer. Yeah, it was the dollar tap beer, though, at Bud Light. It might have been. Who gives a fuck? Bud Light, Miller, Budweiser. Yeah, but maybe, your, maybe your generation, it was like Schaefer or... Rolling, roll, 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 Rolling, Rolling Rock's Rock. expensive. Rolling Rock's expensive? It was, for my taste, that man. That is not Bush Light. Yeah, I was more like... A, I drank kegs of Bush Light in college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was more like Schaefer... We would go and get whatever the cheapest keg was. Who give? Nobody gave a fuck. What the? To you guys are hoity, hoity toity. No, I just like I drank enough of of that Bush Light and Natty Light. Fuck yeah! In LSU to yeah to I'm good for the rest of my dude, life. Dude, I did however many years of college. That's how much I drank of that stuff. What was that? Seven years? I did one semester and it was enough. I did seven years of college and I. I, def- I don't drink it anymore. You were a seventh year? No, oh, but I was. Didn't you redshirt as a freshman? I didn't redshirt, that- no. Who, red was shirt. I t- who was I talking to that redshirted as a freshman who went to college? No, no, I-, I did a postgraduate year after my senior year in high school. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, you po- said it was kind of like a redshirt. It- not a redshirt because it wasn't sports. It was just I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do or what college I could get into. Fair enough. So I took another year at a place called Northfield Mount Hermon. Um, okay. Amanda says, see you in KC on December 1st. 
One last question. And then that's it. Yeah. And then we're going to get out of here. One last question. And then you. Okay. All right. how, how long, how long have we been going for? Almost an hour. 15 minutes. I'll have it fast. Yeah. That's fast. Man. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. I love this question. This is from Stacy. Stacy's mom. Uh, if there was one body part of yours that you could change, what would it be? Ooh, I know what mine is. Let me go first. Yeah. Forehead. <laughs> oh That's, my yeah, God. I have got a yeah, fucking whatever joke you want to make, five head, eight head, ten head. I got the only all, thing man. the only thing above him is Peyton Manning's head. Yeah, Let's dude, just put it that and way. And Megamind. You are Mega Mind. It goes Mega Mind, Peyton Manning, <laughs> me. Josh Wolf. Yo, dude, I have got a large forehead. And it really, I, I think I mentioned to this, was this last week? I really, I, I'm at a point where I'm tired of these fucking hats. You did, yeah, we talked about this last I'm week. I'm so tired of these fucking hats. But I think if I take my hat off, it'll I, be more alarming. I, <laughs> I, I mostly it's for stage, right? Because it's just going to be people distracted, not only by the size of my forehead, but just the fact that they haven't seen me without a hat. Right. So, so much of the show is going to be about them staring at my head and not listening to the jokes. Uh, but I know I have to do it. I mean, you I don't. just know I do. I do. I just want to. I just want to. Okay, I'm, want I'm, to and have to are two different things. I, it's my forehead, guys. I'm ready for it, dude. I for me because I want to look at me. Everybody, look. I look pretty good. I would choose my teeth. I, your teeth. Mm-hmm. That's a body part, right? I guess. What's wrong with your teeth? I just don't like the way my teeth look. They're weird and fucking gross. What? Why? Do, what part of your? It's so weird. Here, can I tell you what's crazy? Is the 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 thing that you fixate on, other people probably don't. Although people have mentioned my forehead many times, but but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'll it, mention it again right now for you. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> what forehead? What, um, what, no, yeah, I don't like. I have like weird teeth. Like I think my big teeth are really big, but then also the teeth, the tooth right next to my big tooth is like still looks like a baby tooth. It's so small, but also like it took. I took me so long to get my wisdom teeth out that like. My bottom row is just fucked up. Like the teeth are just pushed together. There's a tooth back here that's not even in line with the rest of my teeth anymore. Like my and I refuse to get braces. Well, that's like in, truthfully. What if we Invisalign you? We could, but I honestly, I, I'm really curious to see how I would look with, like with veneers. I don't have money for veneers, but like I'm holding out till the day that I do, then to just get veneers. I might get some veneers. I don't, know, I don't know what they are, but it sounds fun. You know, like when they shape you, they, they pretty much shave your teeth down to points and then fill it in with like a, like a, like a, it's almost like a gel, but then it fills it in and it becomes like the enamel of your teeth and reforms your teeth. So oh, you just really? have a perfect set of teeth. A yeah. shiny teeth in me. I might do that. That sounds fun. How long does that take? It can be done in a day. No shit. I'm pretty sure it's the veneer process is done and you have to have the appointment for a long time and you have to go under. But I like that both. Yeah, both of those sound. I agree. But I'm pretty sure it can be done in a day. Deal. Um, all right. Listen, what else do you want to say? I don't got much else to say, man. Um, thank you guys again. Also, like I still get some, I got some still getting some DMs from those of you who are there in Amsterdam, Norway, and Sweden. I'm so sorry I missed you guys. I'm still getting DMs from those of you in the UK and uh and Ireland. Thank you guys again for so much for coming out and showing support. Um, Naples, we're very excited to see you next week. This week. The, oh, it's Monday. I'll see you guys in two days. Um, we're very excited to see you guys. I haven't been, I've been to Florida, but Naples is one of those I haven't been to yet, but yep. I remember why we had never been to Naples. Why? That guy pulled a knife on you in your show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's right. no, Naples is a very safe, very rich, well, no, we just, but very. We haven't been back to Naples since, is my point. No, we have not. Right. So I'm excited to see you, Naples. It'll be my first time down there with you guys. Uh, so very excited for that. I'm excited for some, hopefully some warm weather also in Florida uh, in November. Yeah, should be pretty good, I think. Um, I got nothing else, guys. Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Uh, I'm not even going to plug my Twitch because I just haven't been playing video games that much anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, just the usual things. Do something nice for someone today. Tell something you love them. 
Um, hey, have everybody. a great week. Everybody, super grateful for all of you. Hard to put into words how grateful I am for all of you and that have joined up in listening to this podcast, that come out to the shows, that support us online. I, I, my gratitude is, is beyond measure. So thank you all so much. I'm having more fun than I ever have. Come see us on the road. I'm telling you right now. And those of you who have been asking this, uh, I want to say two more things. First, shout out to Best Buy Brewing. Best day, uh, shout out to Best Day Brewing. Yes. Best Buy to Best Day <laughs> Brewing. Shout out to Best Day Brewing. Uh, I will tell you when I got home from Europe, I wanted a beer, but I don't drink. And I cracked one of those fuckers open, and it is so fucking good. It it tastes so good, and to feel like I'm cracking open a beer. There's something super nostalgic like that for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to Best Day for stocking my fridge. This shit is so good, man. And for those of you who don't drink but still like the taste of beer and want to feel like you're still cracking open a beer, I can't recommend Best Day enough. I really can't. Um, and um, <laughs> that's, that's very nice of you. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah, want to put my, nice. my tissue on this table. I'm just going to put it in my pocket. Um, and those of you who have been asking questions about the show, there's a, there's a misconception that Jacob and I do an hour and a half on stage together. As much fun as that would be. We do not. He does his stand-up. I do my stand-up. So he does 15. I do 75. And then we do a Q&A. So what you see online is just part of the show. I'm telling you the whole show is fucking so good right now. Absolutely. So come on out. We're having a good time out there. We love you, everybody. Thanks for tuning into the show. We love you guys. Later. See you later.